So in this video we're going to show you uh, a little bit about the GoPro Hero 5 and when you borrow it from the library here um, you're going to get it in this case and you're going to open up the case and you take this backing off you'll see that we have a picture of everything that's in there and we're just going to pull them off one at a time. You have the tripod mount, you have the connecting USB cable, you have the quick release you have the thumb screw, you have the, um, we're calling this the action housing, and you've got a lens cap, and then you have a backing, I'll show you that in a minute, then you actually have the GoPro Hero 5, and it lives In this housing here. Let's see, that's one unit. And then when you open it up, you're going to push down there, slide it open, you're going to see we have a battery. And then in here, we have the 128 uh, gig drive. So that is what's inside uh, these cases when you borrow it. So when you return it, we expect everything to be somewhat like you had it when you borrowed it. So when you put it all back in there and you return it to us, That's how we'd like it to be returned. Everything's safe and sound, and you're set. So if you're going to be using this GoPro Hero uh, 5 in inclement weather, like rain uh, or snow or heavy fog, not sure why you do that, but sure. Um, and also if you're going to go uh, anywhere near water or underwater or into outer space or to the stratosphere, you need to make sure that these two doors are completely closed so when you push down you see that slides out and you're just going to make sure it's got a nice nice sound to it when it closes and then this door and you see how it kind of made that popping sound you don't want it like that you want it to close all the way so i'm going to go ahead and show you how to put the gopro hero from uh, this um, housing to the Kind of action housing and basically what we're trying to protect is this um, piece of glass or lens right here um, when it's not inside this housing and you're doing something action and something hits this and breaks this it's game over for the whole uh, device so if you're gonna do something action oriented we want you to put it in this device so you're gonna take it out of This housing here. You're gonna take this and you're gonna slide that backing off. You're gonna take that. You're gonna probably look and see if there's any fingerprints on there. Then you slide it in. So you're gonna go in just like that. And that is going to slide right down in place and then you'll see that it is now in that housing like that. If it's jumping around a little bit, moving around, you can tighten that right here. It just kind of torques it in place so it won't be moving around now. So again, this is the action um, device that we want you to put it in if you're going to be doing anything action oriented. Trying to protect that inside there. And if this outer lens breaks, it's not going to cost you as much to break that. So to get it out of there, pull that out. Unscrew the thing there. Pull it out. Comes right out. Put your back and back on. And put it right back. 
and the other one. So when borrowing our GoPros, there's a couple of things I need to know about. Um, you will see that right now we're looking at the action casing. So when should you use the action casing? I think that you should use the action casing uh, when you uh, jump off a building, uh, have it attached to your motorcycle, uh, have it attached to your car, have it attached to your bike, if you're at least, you know, like mountain biking, um, attached to your skateboard, um, anything that's action oriented, please put the red case on the GoPro. If you're simply just if you're simply just um, walking around like I am now, you can have the black uh, normal casing on. If you put it on a tripod and it's just sitting here, that's fine. Uh, I used uh, these GoPros to make this video. Uh, you don't need to put the red casing on for that. So. Um, just be careful when you're borrowing these items. Uh, many things can go wrong. Uh, if it damages it, you have to pay for it. Um, and really what we're really looking out for is this lens, this lens. So if you break those lenses, crack those lenses, you're gonna have to pay for the whole uh, device. Those lenses just don't pop out and you pop them on. So if you're doing anything action oriented, please, Put it in this case uh it's going to protect it if you drop it uh it's going to protect the screen in the back that's somewhat protected with the the casing that it's definitely going to protect that lens so uh be careful with that let's say you're going to want to put this on some kind of tripod mount and most tripods have this right like that and that's not going to work out so we've given you um this little um, tripod mount, so slide that onto your tripod. Slide that over that. Take your thumb screw, and now it's attached to the tripod mount. So the reverse would be if you're going to clip it into something. Um, using the quick release, and once it's in place, you just kind of the same thing, then you can tuck it down and it's attached to the quick release. So, let's say you want to get to the battery again, it's going to be this door, you're going to push down and slide it like that, and then pull out the battery. So, if you want to switch batteries. If we give you more than one, typically we're only going to give you one, but if you ask for two, that's how you're going to do it. Let's say you want to uh, charge the battery up while it's in there, while it's in your possession. You're going to open this door right here. And then you're going to plug in the USB. And then plug that into uh, a computer or some kind of uh, USB charging uh, device that you have, or like your phone, and that will internally uh, charge the battery like that. Talked about turning it on. Push there. Let's see that it turns on. Okay, the view, what you've shot. The slide to the left there. You can see there's some pictures there. And then we can look at the pictures. And go through the pictures. And you can delete individual ones. Then when you get back to the main screen, slide down. And now we're at the main screen. You can see there's 80% of the battery left, 5 hours, 38 minutes of the, the SD card left. 
So if you want to get to more settings, uh, you can change uh, the flat uh, color. You can do the white balance settings, the ISO settings, the shutter speed settings, the EV comp settings, um, sharpness, uh, you can mess with the audio, you slide that way, video stabilization turn off and on, um, the auto low light uh, it's not available between certain number sets and you can do manual auto controls um, you can see the stereo wind you know your two choices I'm going to slide back out of that so I like that and you're ready to record so when you want to record you just press down on that and you'll see here that it has uh, the red dot there and the numbers are climbing it's recording it's showing you that you're in 1083, uh, 30 frames per second, and a medium uh, sharpness. And there's a red light over here. And then you'll see on this side, um, there's a red light flashing. And then here it, it does say the battery life, um, what you're shooting in, how many seconds have gone by, and then how much time is left on the SD card. And then stop recording. Just re-hit the button up there. You can see that it saves it down. You want to watch it right away, slide it over. And click on it. Hit play. You'll see that it's a little red dot there and the numbers are climbing. It's Pause it. Slide back. Sorry, slide back. And you're back to recording mode. And turn it off. Hold down on that button, and it shuts it down. So there's a couple places we need to go now, and that is if you slide down, uh, and I'll show you this real quick. There's voice control um, that you can have on this where you can uh, verbally command it what to do. Um, but there is sometimes it's just gonna you'll know, be have a conversation or do things you don't want it to do why um, it's happening so just be aware of that just go on the preferences and we'll kind of slide through here and uh, you see the voice control there's a list of commands you can look at let's see if there's all kinds of uh, commands for it uh, you have to take the volume of the beeping on it, that might be annoying to some people. Uh, the brightness. And then down here, uh, so you get the card, or you get the uh, GoPro and the card is full. Um, for some reason we didn't delete everything that was on there. So you'll need to go here, and then you just simply format the card. And everything that's on there uh, is deleted. It's including pictures um, and video. So let's say there's some settings on here you're not understanding what's going on and there's lots of things that you can have settings on here. So you go camera defaults and then you can reset um, the, the settings on here. So it says reset all settings to defaults except date, time, camera name, password language, and video format. So if you do that that turns it back on. Go back in here. And that uh, reset uh, back to defaults. And you'll see there's a factor uh, reset. And this resets everything, um, uh, including uh, if uh, it's registered to a GoPro account. So uh, please don't do that. Another place we can go is to connect. So if you want to connect your phone to this, so connect new device, um, you can say a Bluetooth device, which would be your phone. And here is the name of the camera. 
and then the password. Please do not alter these names and passwords on this GoPro. Uh, but on your phone, you'll need to know when it searches for it, the name, and then to sign into it uh, through your phone, then you can know that uh, this is the password. And then you can kind of reset uh, the connections uh, to get your phone off the, the settings on this if you wanted to come back in when you were done. So those are some other things.